everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i am going to discuss the most common interview question we get as a automation tester which is to reverse a string without using any inbuilt method even as a technical test lead i generally take interviews and this is the second question whatever i ask the first question is like how to take a screenshot using selenium and the second question might be how to reverse a string without any inbuilt method so let us discuss how we can achieve it so again we will go to online compiler and try to create the scenario so as a scenario i have created a string s equal to my name and the desired output be opposite of whatever it is written so for this what i need to do i need to create a empty string first a string and i will type desired equal to whatever equal to double quote because we are creating empty string now what should be the second step i need to have a for loop in reverse manner so i will write int i equal to s dot length bracket and minus 1 i will give semicolon i should be greater or equal to 0 semicolon i minus i minus minus and i will give curly braces so i have given minus 1 because you know that the length is 6 but the index is start from 0 so it will give array index out of bound exception so to avoid this error we give minus 1 again one more point you can remember from here that for a string i am using length bracket but for string array we do not use this bracket why i am telling this that telling this thing because we are typing in online compiler so you might miss and try to get the output but you will not get the output so you should remember as a string you don't have bracket so you can give bracket in length but in the array you have bracket so you will not you will skip the bracket you can remember like this so what i need to do in the next step i need to use this empty string which is desired equal to desired i will write plus what i need to do i need to do some changes or some something for the string itself function i will do that s and what i need to do i need to use caret because i want each letter from this word itself in a reverse order so what i need to do i need to have each letter of this word to to get each letter we generally use caret which is whatever i am telling from last few lectures if require i will add my lecture link in the description itself previous lecture for the interview one and what i need to do inside the bracket i need to give the index which is i so i have given this one now what i need to do i need to just copy this one and in, instead of this hello world i can paste that desired and try to print and check whether i am getting error any error or not if if there is no error error then we will proceed so you get the reverse of whatever is written which is the desired output now there is a trick again interviewer might ask you that you have reversed the 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 word whatever i have given so kindly tell me what is the logic of a string palindrome so we also should know the concept of a string palindrome so what is string palindrome a string palindrome is the thing basically if you have a string s and if you want to reverse that one then the the reverse one and the the current one should be equal means s and and the desired should be equal should be equal to be a palindrome you got my concept i guess so we have to check this one also for this we will create a if loop and else loop will be there there we will check whether it is a palindrome or not so what i need to give i will type 
if s dot equals equals ignore case ignore case bracket and here i will write what desired and check whether it is palindrome or not so i will just type this one system dot out print and copy it and paste it here and instead of this desired i can write it is it is palindrome palindrome and the, in the else condition else condition i will write it again else curly braces and in the curly braces i will i will just copy this one control c paste it like this one and here i will type it is not palindrome and we will check whether our code is working or not so i will run it and check whether it is it is palindrome or it is not palindrome so you can see that it is giving it is not palindrome because the desired one is not equal to whatever we have given so what we can do we can change the string to check whether our whether our code is working fine or not so i will give a string madam so its reverse is also same it would be like this one it would be reverse of this thing so it will be m a d a and capital m it would be like this one so let us run it and check what is happening you will see it is a palindrome again one more thing i would like to discuss instead of this equal ignore case if i will use equals then what what would happen so i will just use this one equal instead of this equal ignore case i will use equals and see what is happening so i will run it and it will say that it is not palindrome it is not palindrome it is saying why because the reverse one which is the desired one is having capital m in the last but the input is having capital m in the starting so to avoid this one we are using equal, equal ignore case again there might be a trick from interviewer if the interviewer ask you you should not use equal ignore case then what what would you do what you will do in that case you have to have a option without using equal ignore case how i will get my output so for that particular thing you can use s dot to lower case means string dot to lower case so you can write like this one s equal to s dot to you have to write to lower case l should be capital lower lower and c should be capital case and you will use brackets and you will use semicolon so it it is converting the string into lower case means all the letters should be in lower case so even you can check it by printing this one so i instead of writing it we can copy this one control c and here we can paste it and instead of desired i can put s here and try to print it first you will see all in small letter you can see it is palindrome it is printing also even you can see madam is printed in in small letters so if the interviewer tries to confuse you then you can uh, use your mind if the the interviewer is telling you do not use equal ignore case okay sir i will not use equal ignore case i will use two lower case and it will solve my purpose so i think i am able to make you understand the concept how to deal with the requirement presented by the interviewer so hope you like my video if you like the video please like it and if you like my content kindly subscribe my channel it will motivate me to create such more content in future videos thanks a lot bye bye